head to St. Croix with us. Uh, we did decide to take a red eye flight out of Salt Lake and probably not the best idea we've ever had. We were exhausted. It took us about 27 hours in total once we got there, but we made it, we survived, and it was so worth it. The first night we got there, we stayed at Sandcastles on the beach, which was owned by this adorable couple. And we had dinner there, but we were so tired. So we ended up sleeping most of the time and woke up early and had coffee on the beach. And it was so beautiful. This was in Frederickstead. Long story, but we had to stay here for one night and then go to our all-inclusive that we were at. But we were just in awe of the beauty of this island. And we were so happy to be here. We checked into our all-inclusive called Diva Karina um, on the other side of the island. And the first night there was a little paint class and it was so fun. It came with drinks. It was a sip and paint. And then honestly, all we did the majority of the time, the first couple of days was lay on the beach. And then at night they would have some fun little activities. They had like an illusionist and the guy called Eric up there and he was so embarrassed, but it ended up being a really, really good show. The guy was like crazy talented. So that was fun to have some activities because we don't really drink and party. And then we just kind of filmed some fun videos, you know, being influencers on the beach, um, some photos just so we could, you know, post on social media, things like that. Kind of part of the job. And then we went snorkeling a bunch and just took advantage of this crazy beach. This side of the island was a little bit rocky and not as soft sand as some of it, but we definitely took advantage of all of the activities that this resort had. And here's us being influencers again in the water. The next day we decided to drive to Point Udall and it is the east like southeast most point in the United States on like the tip of the island. So we drove out there and you could just see ocean for miles and miles. And then on our drive we ran into this gem. Did you know that there's still one Kmart left in the United States and it is on St. Croix and yes, it is fully it was fully stocked that everything there's no other like big there's grocery stores but there's no other like clothing type stores on the island. Um, really like, you know, like a Target or anything like that. So this was actually like key and they had some pretty cute stuff. We wandered around for a little bit, got sunscreen, got some things we needed. Um, and then we had a nice dinner at our resort, all inclusive. So it included all the food. So this is us again being influencers, taking some photos on the beautiful balcony. Weather was seriously so perfect and just with a slight breeze. Here's Eric being an influencer. So the next day we did our first big excursion and we decided to go rent ATVs through the jungle. I was a tad nervous, but I am so glad we did this. It ended up not being even remotely scary and we had so much fun. The tour guides were great. I'll link them below, but it's called Gecko Island Adventures and they're in Frederick said if you're ever on the island, Highly recommend. They took us up to the very top of the island. We got to see some old like sugar um, cane plants and like some really cool just like animals. They took some photos for us um, and it was just really fun. We got a little dirty and it was totally worth the money and the time. We loved it. That night at our resort, they were doing karaoke. Here's Eric laughing because some of the karaoke is really funny, but it was fun. They brought in this like lady that I guess does karaoke around the island and at different events, and it was fun to listen to. People just having a good time. Here is our resort at night, and you can see kind of like the where our rooms were and how their waters. I think I show yeah I show our room Where's here. Our room? And yeah, it was so pretty. This was our last night here and we were definitely sad to leave, but ready to go explore the rest of the island.
drive. So um, I don't know if you know everybody, but you drive on the left side of the road in St. Croix. So it definitely took some getting used to for Eric, but I helped him navigate and as long as you're following the other cars. But here we are driving into Christianstead and where we're going to stay for the rest of the trip. We got some lunch right on the pier and it was so beautiful. There are chickens everywhere on the island, by the way, and they're so cute. And all their little babies were out. We call them little chicken nuggets. Um, but this was the view from our new hotel and so it wasn't right on like actual I mean that's the ocean but it was like more in like a bay and it was so beautiful and on a pier and then there was like a bunch of restaurants and stuff so this was the morning view and then here's Eric sitting and we're having our morning coffee and definitely not a bad place to work um we are super blessed that this is what we get to do travel and still be able to work and yes here's me doing some aesthetic photos again on our patio and then the moon was so pretty that night this is the pool at our so that next morning we decided to go visit turtle beach and i am so glad we did this was by far it's kind of touristy it's only open on the weekends but it's the most beautiful ocean and sand i'd ever seen it was so warm and this is where turtles hatch and so it's only open um part of the year it actually closes april 1st so we got really lucky that we got to go hang out at this beach um because it's only open a couple days all right, here's us getting ready for dinner. I bought this dress on the island and it is the most comfortable thing I've ever owned. I was feeling a little bloated, um, you know, lots of lots of tacos and margaritas and daiquiris. So, but this dress was so pretty. And here's Eric taking a video of me um, and our King Christian Hotel. It's so pretty from the outside, very well done. I just was so impressed with everything and all the people on this island. Here's the view, kind of the evening. We went on a lot of walks okay, around so we're here. Walking down, like, an so we're walking alleyway. down this alleyway it's and just kind of check out the, the little neighborhood around our hotel. Pineapple. And look what we saw. Uh, just randomly, an upside down pineapple. Lights on. So we lights were upstairs. very confused. And there's definitely some lights on and it's huh, attached to a hotel. What do we think and there were some string be? lights. We're like, is this like a swingers club that's Should secret? We, we reached night. out to some people on the island and they said they'd never heard of it. So we had no idea. And then we went back later that night to check and see if it was open on a Saturday swing night on by and later. it unfortunately <laughs> was not so we don't know what it is but there's an upside down pineapple so maybe it used to be a swingers club um here's some more at the bay I think I was just obsessed with taking videos of the bay um and walking around and oh here's my dress again I was just loving life it was so humid though and my hair just was curly for the whole time but that's okay here's the fishies in the water they're a bunch of tarp you know they're not good to eat but they're just huge here is our pool during the day at this hotel and just the whole vibe like tile work everything in this restaurant called El Leon which was at our, our hotel was some of the best Mexican food. next morning we went on a snorkeling adventure out to Buck Island which is a protected um, monument it's like an island that's protected uh, protected reefs you know we can build on the island or anything some of the most insanely beautiful oceans and reef I've ever seen um, Eric got a little seasick about like three hours and he does not do well in the ocean but he was okay he survived um, I enjoyed rum punch and was totally fine living my best life This was sadly our last night. This is the only photo I got, but we went to dinner for my birthday. My birthday was the Hello? next day. So we went to Hello? a nice dinner and Hello? then we Hello? sat out at our hotel and just enjoyed our the stars. And you could see so many stars. And yeah, just enjoyed the evening. Our last night there, we were so sad to leave. Um, but definitely, definitely going to come back. Um, and here we are the next day at the airport. So sad. Look how sad we are to leave. We look like hot messes. We were exhausted, but so sad. And here is the beautiful island saying goodbye. Um, definitely coming back to St. Croix. We're going to come back, bring the kids. We're going to check out St. Thomas, St. John, and definitely spend a few weeks here. I can definitely see us getting a house or um, not a house, but like renting a property here in the future and spending a lot of time here once the kids are graduated. And then this is us back home, driving home after the airport snow. in the snow. snow. Ew, not happy. Uh, 